بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم It's good to be among this respected conference as a speaker The topic is very interesting and I hope to satisfy people who are keen to know about intensification and water productivity to just uh, be able to talk about water productivity we have to get some basic information uh, just to help to understand what's going on in the beginning i want to say that uh, fish farming activity in egypt does not compete with agriculture on fresh water Fresh water, I mean less than five people per thousand salinity as a valuable natural resource. The main freshwater farm species, tilapia, proven to grow normally and breed in water bodies with salinity over 10 ppt. Even other freshwater farm species like African catfish and carps can grow well in a water bodies with 5 ppt. This level is not good for agriculture in general. Uh, we have to have a parameter to, to measure water productivity. The best I found is carrying capacity. Carrying capacity is uh, known term for people who work in fish farming and uh, is affected by water quality, water temperature, quantity and the quality of fertilizer, ration of fertilizer, size of fish, species of fish, feeding habits of, of the fish and farming system, whether it is intensive, extensive, poly or monoculture. Early in the 90s, when we start, when the government start to, to push farming as a new activities, production of mullet and monoculture system was only 500 kg per pity. But t developing tilapia monosex technique in 1991 by ESE increased carrying capacity to reach 1.5 metric ton within in the first trial. Further increasing carrying capacity can be achieved dramatically by water management. The following part of the presentation is a description of two proven techniques intensification and integration fish production system developed by ESC with the systematic approach since 2006. The ultimate conclusion of that is we can double the income of the unit volume of irrigation water for agriculture simply by building a fish pond between water source and growing plants. Early trials, we have to mention the trial of Engineer uh, Shiraki. Uh, this pond is uh, 6 by 20 meters, depth is 2 meters. He focused on mainly on aeration, water was there, but at that time we didn't have enough uh, technical information to make a, a either design or a good design. This trial considered successful because at least he was able to reach to market size, about 300 gram per fish. I attend this harvest and uh, it was a very, very good trial as a beginning. Netherlands model 
This is the most systematic approach trial for intensification using RES technique. It is supported by Netherlands Embassy by providing some equipments and Wageningen University by providing scientific and technical advice information. Details are in the following slides. This is how we saw the fish in Wageningen University, and that was fascinating. But the technology is a little bit complicated, which I think, from my point of view, it is not uh, uh, useful or not good for developing country like Egypt. In this slide, for example, you, you can see uh, a truck loaded with a leak of oxygen just to provide the the the, the fish farm with uh, with uh, enough oxygen. This is a, a drum, what so called drum filter used for removing solid waste. Also, another one piece of complicated, simple to apply in developing country. Uh, components of the system, it is written. And this is a diagram of the system. We convert 24 pounds fish tanks used as a fish uh, tilapia hatchery, provided them with a uh, uh, solid waste uh, filter and by filter uh, using or using the, the elevation available just to pump the water from the solid waste removal filter to trickling filter and then by gravity to fish pump and then by gravity to again to solid waste filter. Solid waste, uh, we found that this is the most uh, suitable uh, facilities to, to do this uh, task simply by a wall prevent the water to be uh, in a high speed just to allow them to go to a certain direction and then become calm so this allows the solid waste to to sediment in the bottle, eventually uh, every three or four days we remove it out of the system. Trickling filter building was composed of 6,000 pieces of plastic rooms as a drum, each is 20 by 20 centimeter. Uh, this plastic was a 500 plastic box. To, to contain this, to, to, to have these plastic pieces in, all together form a big filter with a dimension of 2 by 2 by 30 meters. This is how, how we form the space which uh, used later for growing bacteria, nitrosomonas and nitrobacter. We have been told that nitrosomonas and nitrobacter grow only in dark, so that we cover the whole thing with black plastic sheet. Later on, when uh, modification has been implemented, we realize also that the part which is exposed to light can uh, can go algae and algae also is good in removing uh, nitrogen wastes. Other equipment in this uh, in this technique was pumps, generator, generator is essential, pipes and splitting to achieve the 
want to circulate as uh, uh, idle as possible. This is the elevating pump, uh, pumps to, to work in alternative ways. This technique can be implemented because many of the agricultural land in the desert now, depending on storage the water in a reservoir to use them in irrigation by dripping or sprinkling. So already this water would exist while its productivity is not more if, if it has been utilized as a for uh, fish production. Uh, assuming that you will uh, use 100% of the water daily, you can from 5 to 10 kg per cubic meter. While the, the Netherlands model will prove that we, using this equipment, we can achieve 45 kg per cubic meter. At the time in 2007, we calculate economic, however, it, in spite of uh, price of electricity and energy at that time is was less than now. However, we achieve a very, very uh, uh, little margin of profit. Now uh, we have to consider economic before thinking in unless you can market your fish fairly as as experts say uh, you will not compete with uh, recent prices which is considered not fair. It is. Uh, Constant common subject for uh, discussion. For such a model of innovation, I think that harvest tell everything. That's why we harvest this production of this trial once at in a, in a big ceremony just to prove that. Uh, it can be done, it can be done. It's not the final final design, it can be a lot of improve, can be achieved, but the to 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 consider this trial consider is to reach to harvest side with a good fish, good harvest fish. The Brea model was uh a trial, since we believe that dissemination, just to, we, we believe that development come from dissemination. The ordinary farmer can do it, can, so trying to cut all of the complication in such a technique, achieving to uh, simple form, the Raya model has been developed. Uh, and this very, very simple model, it's a 10 by 30 meter dimension points with a, a depth of 0.6 meter, which is 60 centimeter. And we try to make the two steps of solar biofiltration in one component along with the uh, long axis of the pond and we use the sludge forming in this filter for irrigation simply by using high speed pump motor, motor and don't use dripping but use sprinkle because dribble will be plugged uh, the holes of, of the hose will be plugged with the 
solid waste, but uh, using a high speed motor for spring sprinkle system solve the problem. The the this this system uh, in the first year season of uh, running yield eight metric ton of fish. However, its carrying capacity, which we mentioned earlier, three tons, means that it can hold three tons of fish at one time and behave normally and grow, but by periodical harvest and compensate the harvest by number of fish, give a all over the, the, the season uh, to reach a ton. And this pond irrigate four feedings. So a uh, final calculation, when you use the water already used for irrigation of four feedings and producing eight tons, which means that each amount of water allocated if you two tons of fish value 50,000 Egyptian pound assuming that you are using 5,000 cubic meter so it means that you add to the income of using this one meter, one meter of fresh water, 10 pounds, which means you are doubling the income of the unit of fresh water as a valuable resource. Uh, and uh, this is uh, one parameter for uh, uh, how much, how much this technique add to uh, uh, good utilization for fresh water as a natural resource. Thank you again, and uh, I will be happy. The end of this presentation is uh, two minutes video showing the last harvest of this one, you can realize market size.